fellas. Let's get them pumped. Like and subscribe. Real Murder TV. Okay, guys, I want to speak on Dante, Dipset, and Aki. Uh, I just want to talk about this story, a flashback story of Aki. Remember, Aki, it's the beginning of the drill culture, man. Aki was like almost, I ain't going to say he was the first rounder because a lot of the guys are still alive at the t at the time or whatever. JoJo ended up getting killed later on. Um, that was his best friend, him and P. Rico and all them guys. They loved uh, Aki. And, you know, they was all once in a while cool with all. Everybody was cool with Dirk and everybody. But everybody split it up. So, um, I think killing Aki kind of turned Dipset and Brick Squad against each other, allegedly. I don't know for sure. But um, it was some some stuff behind all that. And, um, and it was a fight broke out over some stuff. Uh, I guess one of the friends. See, Aki could have been alive today uh, or been doing something else. These guys played sports in school. They was actually good. Dante, too. Um, Dante wasn't trying to fight. Aki was trying to fight. Even when Aki hit him. And he saw the gun. He saw the gun first. Then he hit him anyway. And then he put his hands up ready to fight. Dante wasn't trying to fight. Um, instead of pulling his hands, putting his hands up, Dante allegedly pulled the gun and shot. Aki had a chance to run. Probably if we ran back or, or tried to bag up, Dante probably wouldn't have shot him. But he was still trying to go at it. And Dante wasn't finna fight him. Dante got off on that. He actually did a little bit of time and he came home. Uh, not uh, a couple of years ago, so you lose your life over something small over a hat. But Aki was young at the time; he couldn't make, he couldn't get a second chance like a lot of other people. Rest in peace to Aki.